What's up, children of the sun? This is your spiritual advisor, Montre Bible. And um, when I last left, I was making a video about the Mandela effect. Uh, I did a tarot reading on it and I came up with a lot of information and you guys wanted me to follow up on it. So uh, if you watched the last video, I'll put a link to it if you missed it. Uh, it came to the point that CERN wasn't really causing the Mandela effect, but the Mandela effect was a byproduct of CERN doing some experiments with time travel. And not only were they doing experience with time travel, they were trying to resurrect some type of female energy that had either been passed away or locked up somewhere. So they're using their experiments to basically resurrect this female entity from the past. And because of that, we've seen a lot of changes in this world. I found this video here, which is an abstract performance to celebrate Switzerland's rail opening. And this was on the Daily Mail. And I, I found it really interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure their connections with CERN. Um, but as you can see, they're doing some type of ritual type dance. And I'm not, I don't want to go completely into it, but they begin to strip off, which as you can see in the background, there's this portal kind of thing going on back here, uh, which it's kind of suspect <laughs> but they're stripping into their skivvies men and women and it looks like they're falling it's really creepy if you look at it really creepy um not quite sure what this has to do with switzerland is this cultural <laughs> i don't know oh yeah and then you have this little thing coming out of nowhere um, this is to celebrate a rail opening uh, from a giant tunnel. And this goat man. <laughs> now these little furry things in the background, scarabs are spiritual, I know that. That's Egyptian iconography. And then this large face of a bearded man. Those little, let's stop for a second. These little bushy things right here in the back. Uh, I do believe there's an African tribe that does that same thing. So there's a lot of uh, tribal things in here, ritual stuff, which I take very seriously, if you know me. Um, and these people are, it's just a weird way to uh, <laughs> celebrate Switzerland's rail opening. Um, nothing very Switzerland about this, um, unless they are a part of a bigger group. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. I also want to do uh, a more expanded, extended reading on um, some of the questions that you guys had and go to the tarot and see if I can get some clarification because I did stop the video uh, very abruptly. Oop, someone's messaging me. Okay. So um, we'll stop that. Uh, you guys asked, this is from Andreas Miller, thanks for leaving me a comment. It would be interesting to know if the goal is the step-by-step -step change of the present, future, or we see the failures here since we experience many changes over time, talking about the Mandela effect. Whether the project will be successful or unsuccessful, what will be the final result? That's a good question. If we assume that someone is to be re revived from the past, the present would have to change suddenly. Yep. Um, but we see many small changes over a long period of time. Uh, thanks for the question. Um, and there's a lot of questions, so I'll have to look into it one by one. So first question, I would say. Um, uh, we experience many changes over time. Well, this project will be successful or unsuccessful. Well, I figure um, if their main intention is to write, uh, raise someone up that's been passed let's see if they are successful with their intentions is CERN going to be successful with their intentions thank you angel spirit guides ancestors creator of all things give me insight for this okay so we've got the two of swords the strength card reverse and the four of cups reverse they were had they had one minor success so the two of swords says there's still some things that they have to decide 
looks like they've had more failures than successes. It looks like it's an ongoing thing. They're knowing there's something they're weak about. The strength card is reversed. And they're going to revisit something that they possibly did not get before. The Nine of Pentacles is also at the bottom, which talks about there's maybe a financial cost. Anytime they do these experiments, it may be costing them a little bit more money, so they have to get money from elsewhere. Um, what I'm kind of sensing is, but it's not completely successful. They are successful on one thing. Uh, like I said, maybe they've already risen her, but maybe there's other things that they're trying to do. Maybe it's not complete yet. So let's clarify that Two of Swords. I'm sensing there might be a financial cost, basically. Let's clarify that Two of Swords. What are they trying to decide? The Seven of Pentacles and the Princess of Wands. And there, the, there you go, the Four of Cups again. So, um, and that Seven of Pentacles looks like they're growing impatient with with the investments that they've done. It's almost like a bad investment. We got, once again, this female energy, but this, I don't know if that's the same thing. But the, the Princess of Wands talks about trying to start a new beginning with something, maybe trying to start a, a, a new phase of, of reality. The Four of Cups reverse again. Once again, something that they want to return to, something that is separated. I'm believing that because this Four of Cups keeps popping up, it may be that energy, that, that female energy that they're trying to resurrect because it's usually about something that's uh, disconnected from us. And when it's reversed, it's talking about reconnecting with something that we were once disconnected from. So this female energy that they want to bring back in, I don't think it's quite, it's not a no and it's not a yes. It's just saying that they're still working on it. And I think it has a lot to do with their finances right now. What's the next question? What is the final result if they are successful? OK. What will be the final result if they are successful with what they're trying to do? We've got the King of Swords, the Moon card, and the whew, the Seven of Cups. Okay, the final result. We once this is a um, the King of Swords represents a leader, but a very negative leader. Someone who is using their leadership in a bad way, who cuts with his words. It's very negative. The moon card is a secret spirituality, some kind of spiritual movement, and also their dreams. They're trying to manifest some kind of dream that they're having, the seven of cups. It's almost like unifying the spiritual in the physical world, creating a, an, an illusion because we got the moon card is about illusions. I think they're trying to create their own reality based upon some illusions using their words. Let's clarify that. Uh, yeah. They're trying to break the tradition. The Hierophant is at the at the bottom. The Hierophant is a very strong religious energy, too. So it's almost like they're trying to create their own religion. They're trying to uh, break tradition. Um, the King of Swords is using his words in a negative way to manifest something that they've been dreaming about. Clarify the King of Swords. So now we have a masculine energy kind of in charge here. Clarify the King of Swords. Ooh, clarified by the King of Cups. He's a definitely a very creative individual. And the Queen of Swords, this is more than one person. And the Death card reverse. Once again, we have that Death card reverse. I'm sensing that husband-wife kind of unified energy, the masculine and the feminine, one who loves another. The King, the Queen of Swords, she, I think she popped up in the last uh, reading. Um, two people. One, the King of Cups is a male energy, but he has uh, feminine uh, energy of all the cards. And the Queen of Swords, she's more masculine too, where she's wise and she uh, thinks with her head, very analytical. And the King of Cups is in his emotions, but he's very balanced. So they, they're clarifying the King of the King of Swords reverse. It's almost like they're working together. And it may be, like I said, that's a lover uh, reuniting things because the Death card is reversed. And that popped off in my last uh, 
reading as well as trying to reverse death, trying to stop a transformation, trying to uh, transform something from inward out. So very interesting with these cards so far. What was the next question? If we assume someone's being revived from the past, but we're seeing changes, yeah. Uh, but it looks like they're trying to manifest a dream. Let's 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 get more clarity on that dream. What is this Seven of Cups for? Manifesting this dream. Clarify the Seven of Cups. <laughs> the dream of the past. Once again, we have these lovers and the Six of Cups talks about a past, a past relationship. So trying to look at the options and seeing them there, how they're going to manifest this dream of bringing these lovers back together from the past. And I think they're a very powerful being. It's almost like the, the masculine and the feminine. Clarify the moon card for me. They've been separated through time and they're trying to bring it back. We have the sun card. Ooh, once again, we have this masculine and feminine energy uh, balancing each other out. The sun is reversed though. So it's talking about being very unhappy with how reality is and being separated uh, in time and space. This is kind of deep. Um, trying to start this new beginning. We got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a, and just looking at that, it looks, feels like, you know, uh, like a magic, you know, like manifestation uh, because it's a pentacle. So I'm getting this feeling of, of there's this masculine energy like this. He's trying to find his, his yin to his yang basically uh, and bring her back um, and, and change the way reality is in the process. Um, really nothing else matters but this female energy. <laughs> Not quite successful yet. They've had a few successes, but like I said, it looks like there's more financial uh, obligation of trying to get things to go in here. All right, so let's see. So the final result is that they'll change, they'll manifest this um, dream world that they're attempting to create. And the sun going down will be another reality basically dissipating. And, and it's basically, like I said, it's what we normally do anyways, but they're doing it on such a large scale. It's going to destroy one world and create another. Kind of the biblical revelation kind of thing going on here. But more so, I'm seeing um, these two energies, these masculine and this feminine, and the masculine trying to bring back this feminine energy. Okay, guys, so give me what you think on that. Um, and uh, leave your questions and I will go and read the cards for those. Um, the next reading I'm going to be doing will be the Trump one since he just uh, he just announced that he was running for president again. Be looking for that in the future and make your reality happen because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later.